Hello, how are you? Welcome to Santuario Lunar. In this video I'm going to recommend you five great books for understanding the Greek myths and Greek mythology itself. And in the end of this video I'm also going to recommend three other books for understanding and for getting to know more about archetypes, symbols and magic, the magical side of the Greek myths. So let's see it! <laughs> Before I start, I'd like to ask you that if you wish to buy any of these books after seeing my video, please use the link I provide in the description below. By using this link, you collaborate with my site and with my channel, and you pay nothing extra for it. Okay? So let's see the first book. The first book is Bullfinch Mythology by Thomas Bullfinch. Thomas Bullfinch was one of the first authors to write these Greek myths in English. I recommend this book if you are entering the Greek mythology, the Greek myths, and if you are looking for a very pleasant and somehow difficult reading, because Thomas Bullfinch wrote in a very good way, in a very elaborated way. So if you are not looking for this, if you want something straight to the point, this may be not the best choice for you. This is the Barnes & Noble edition with leather cover and some golden details. Number two is this, The Greek Myths, Robert Graves. This edition I have here is the Brazilian Portuguese edition, but there's an English edition as well. And this one is a box with two books, two big books. And these big books, they bring all the myths from gods, goddesses, heroes and heroines, just like Thomas Bullfinch. But this one is more straightforward, straight to the point. So if you want some easy reading, this one's for you, although this is not didactic, it's straight to the point, as I said. If you forget someone, if you forget a name, you have to look for it on the glossary to understand and to locate yourself again. Book number three is the Book of Mythology. This one, this one I have again is the Brazilian Portuguese one, but the original one was published by DK Publishing. It's excellent and it's didactic. So here you find a lot of Greek myths and you are always situated about people involved in a specific chapter you're reading. So there's no way to get lost here. Unless you want to get lost, but I guess you don't want to get lost. A bonus part of this book is that it's not only about Greek myths. By buying this one, you will have all the myths in the world together. You have Greek ones, Roman, Norse, Japanese, Chinese, and many others. And all of them are in this way, are presented this way, are very didactic. So even though you are a beginner or if you're not used to some specific mythology, we can learn a lot on this one. Book number four is actually not only one book, but two books together, and they are always together. The Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer. This is a must. Even if you are not interested in Greek mythology at all, this is a very good book. It's an epic. And this was written by Homer, so the translation, the English version, is very close to the original one. No interpretations included. So I strongly recommend it. And it tells a lot about the gods and goddesses and heroes and heroines and their adventures and their the things they did and didn't, and the events that led to the Trojan War, just like I explained a little in Aphrodite's video.
Book number five is this one, The Orphic Hems. This edition I have here is the newest edition by Patrick Dunnan. In this book we find his interpretations of the hymns and he also suggests some ritual usage, some magical usage for them. And in the end we also have Thomas Taylor versions. So it's two in one. So these were the five books about Greek mythology I had to recommend you. And now I'm going to show you three other books focused on the magical side, on the archetypical side, and symbols, and witchcraft, how we can understand the goddess and their powers to use in our rituals. And these three books, they were written by Patricia Monaghan, and here they are. The first one, this is again the Brazilian Portuguese version, O Caminho da Deusa, but in English is the Goddess Path. She presents us many goddesses, different goddesses, including some Greek ones, of course, and she tells their myths, their symbols, ritual suggestions, and activities, and things we can do to meditate on them, to connect with their archetypes, and everything else. The second one is this, Garotas Selvagens, the Portuguese version. In English it's Wild Girls. Similarly to the other one, but this one is focused on the young or maiden face of the goddess. And the Greek one presented here is Artemis. This book is organized by place, so we find a place, and then we find a specific culture, a specific mythology, and then inside it we have all the goddesses and heroines alphabetically sorted. So even though it seems big to read, and sometimes you think, I'm not going to read everything, it's good to have it just to open at a random page and read one or two goddesses or heroines per day. It's a fantastic experience. So these were my recommendations, I hope you like it, and if you already know one of these books, please leave in the comments below telling me your experiences with this book. And don't forget that if you're going to buy one of them after seeing my video, please use the link I provide in the description. This way you collaborate with my site and with me, and you pay nothing extra for it. Okay? Thank you very much, and see you. If you have reached this part of this video, why don't you stay with me for a while? Here you can find all the Greek goddesses I have talked about in this channel. And here you can find all the Orphic hymns dedicated to these Greek goddesses. And here you can subscribe to the channel to receive the updates. Thank you very much and see you.